you might have heard about bim maturity level that a company is describing that our bim level is on level 2 or our bim maturity level is on level 2 or level 1 so what is bim maturity and what does it actually defines and how many level does bim maturity have in this video i'll be talking about exactly this i will be explaining what is bim maturity level i will define each and every stages of bim maturity and guys this video will be a very important and very helpful video for all of you if you are interested into bim industry and without any delays let's get started with the video guys so guys the bim maturity is basically a milestone for measuring at what level of integration of bim you have in your company organization or a country bim maturity is divided into four parts first is level 0 second is level 1 third is level 2 fourth is level 3 and now let's define these levels so level 0 is basically no integration or no usage of bim basically you are working in a traditional autocad environment you are generating 2d drawings you are sharing it through emails your electrician is generating another cad file and things like that so that is level 0 in bim now coming to level 1 level 1 is partial integration into bim basically you are generating basic 3d model in one software then you are doing cat file in another software and you are generating some data by sharing a common data environment we also call it cdms so you can use common company server you can use emails and things like that but there is a collaboration but there is no direct collaboration everyone is using their own software own methods and own techniques and bringing in data together and combining it and generating the final design document so that is level 1 and most of the indian companies are on this level now coming to bim level 2 integration so bim level 2 integration is full integration that means you are generating 3d models and your consultants are also generating 3d models and you are collaborating through a central file that is you can use ifc file so basically if you are a revit user you can generate ifc file ifc is a common file that can be read by other 3d softwares as well so you are generating 3d data you are generating a data rich model but still you are not fully collaborating or directly collaborating you are using that 3d model to generate other 3d models and data and you embed all this data into a central ifc file and this file eventually gives you scheduling data scheduling as in your project schedule your material schedule your transportation schedule everything can be embedded into these files and not only this you can also generate 5d data which is your cost so cost can also be embedded into this level so scheduling is called 4d and cost is called 5d i will make a separate video explaining you what is 4d 5d 3d of course we all know that 3d models are built but what are 4d 4d is our scheduling and 5d is costing and uh, there is 60 70 and 8d as well so i will explain it into a different video now coming to what is level 3 level 3 is full bim integration here you are using a central bim model onto a cloud environment and all your consultants maybe it's electrical plumbing hvac and all your project managers project scheduler estimators everyone has access to a central model and you give certain access and certain controls to certain departments for example I have made an architectural central model and this thing is on Autodesk Cloud 360. I have made a specific video on how to do cloud collaboration so go ahead and check that out as well. And this model is a reference for my electrical and HVAC people to build their own model on top of it. So all the data that my HVAC people and my electrical plumbing people are generating is 
accessible for me as well. They can see what is the exact architecture model, what are the changes that are happening on the architecture model and what are the changes that they have to do on their architecture model or their civil model or their plumbing model. So we can do markups, we can put comments and stuff like that. So it's a fully integrated system where everyone has access to every form of data that is available in a model. And it also has, of course, 4D element that is your scheduling element, 5D element that is your costing element. It also has a next element that is your 6D. 6D is called for life cycle management. So what is life cycle management? So guys, uh, traditionally you all might be knowing about how architecture projects happen, civil projects happen. So once we build our design documentation, construction starts on site and we deliver the project. And now everything is with the clients and nothing is on us or nothing valuable like in form of data is available with the client. But in this part, we hand over the 3D BIM model to the client as well. And this BIM model is a very powerful tool which will give the client the information of how to manage the property. He will know exactly when the maintenance should be done. He will know exactly when the warranty or the guarantee of any of the equipment that is installed on the site is going to end or uh, who is the manufacturer, uh, how to contact that manufacturer. All of these things are very critical things when it comes to life cycle because of course we do make buildings we do make a lot of things in a model but we can't keep track of all of these things or client also can't come to us after three years saying that oh what was the elevator or what was the hvac equipment that you installed uh, should i open my ceiling up to see who was the manufacturer no he if he has the 3d model or the 3d data of BIM uh, level three collaboration, he will know exactly who the manufacturer of that HVAC system was, how it was installed, what is the guarantee warranty of that, and how he can disassemble it and uh, replace it basically. So this becomes a very integrative environment which is helpful even before starting the project and after the project is done. So guys, I hope you guys understood what is BIM maturity level. Most of the countries uh, that are around us are on like, for example, Canada is on level two and it is rapidly exceeding to level three integration. Most of the firm over here are on level three. I mean, the bigger firms are on level three. Australia is again on level two and three in between that. UK is exceeding to level three. Uh, United States is also on level three. So these countries are way ahead of India in BIM integration. There are few companies, I'm not talking about country, few companies in India that are on a higher level of BIM integration that is on level three integration because they are working internationally. So guys, I have made a video regarding which companies are hiring and which companies are using BIM in India. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if you are not supporting my channel, if you are coming here for the first time, I would just request you please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe. I know it won't cause you any money or anything, but these things motivate me to make these kind of videos, to take this time, to take this effort, to make this video for all of you. So please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.